We are going to be feeding our rays over here and our turtles. The ray feeding right now is what's known as a southern eagle ray. You will notice that all our rays here at the sanctuary still have their bark. We see no reason to remove them. These stingrays are not a danger to us. None of the animals in here are. They're very friendly. They have no reason to harm us. They know that we bring the food. They're not going to bite the hand that feeds us. The ray eating just there is Tazzy. She's been in our aquarium for about 15 years. You may have noticed she has a, a, um, a, a fused jaw. She came to us with a broken jaw and as it healed, it fused. And so we have to target feed her and make sure that she gets special treatment because she finds it a little bit hard to find food on her own. Notice that diver, that's called a stingray cuddle. It's where they go and they smother our divers looking for food. <laughs> it's good fun, that. <laughs> Got some small poor Jacksons just there feeding. They will grow to about three times the length of what they are now. And the ones that we have here at the sanctuary are all born here. You notice our turtles up here. You notice how two of them actually have only three flippers. Now this little one here, this is Sea Biscuit, and she came to us with her flipper, but it was so badly damaged. We think from birds and fish just picking at it from when she was little that we had to remove it. And Boy here, the other turtle that's missing a flipper, he had his flipper severed by a boat. Oh, 
We have seven grey nose sharks. This one just here. This is Freckles. Now she's very special. She's our youngest female here. She was actually in a little bar aquarium. Um, in 2007, there's also Murdoch who was born here. Now we're only one of three aquariums in the entire world to ever breed a grey nose shark in captivity. So two of the sharks we have here are very special to us. Particularly Murdoch. Yum yum. So that was Freckles that just ate. She's a good eater. If any of them are going to eat, it's going to be her. <laughs> now, green nose sharks, because they have teeth much like forks, they have to swallow their food whole. They don't chew. This means that anything much bigger than their mouths, they can't eat. So, humans are not on the menu at all. There's never ever been a recorded attack on a human from a grey nose shark, let alone a death. They're very placid, these sharks. Very good. Does anyone know the sixth sense that a shark has? They have six senses. Does anyone know what the sixth one is? Sense of electricity. Yeah, they have a lateral lobe and have little speckles under their nose so they can sense muscle twitching and heartbeats. They know when you're there even if they can't see you and they know when you're scared. <laughs> These sharks have a very interesting reproductive way. They have the females have two uteruses, and one one baby will grow in one, one in the other. Now, in each uterus, they'll have a bunch of eggs in each one, and the strongest shark will actually eat all its siblings in the womb for nourishment, and then the strongest one will be born. Now, we had Pallas here who gave birth to Murdoch, and she had two babies, but she let one of them go a few months early. And that shark passed away, but she held on to Murdoch and he was born. Oh, they can have two at a time. They can have two, but the one, the shark, the safari, um, lost the first one and had the second one. But it's really rare for them to have to reproduce it all.
claspers, which are these two like sausage things, just near the base of the tail, whereas the girls don't have them. Yeah, that's Some sharks just smell blood for up to a mile away. <laughs> 